and welcome to a small clip from our weekly Game of Thrones show, GameSpot of Thrones. For the whole episode, make sure to head over to youtube.com slash GameSpot and we'll see you there. But there are loads of really good theories about Bran. Uh, first of all, that he, because he can see into the past and have these green seeing visions, that he might be the old man in the tree. He might be the three-eyed raven. Which I think is quite interesting because you never actually see the old the old guy move That's from true. the waist down. Ah. But there's an interesting theory going around that that is old Bran and that he's using his green seeing to go back in time and tell young Bran not to basically stay in too long and get stuck in the tree because yeah. then this is what will happen. So what if that goes wrong and then there's a third version of Bran that comes out right at the end and goes, you guys, there's, stop it. There's no like skeleton Bran in the tree, <laughs> old Bran on the floor and he's like, what the hell's going on here? So speaking of time travel paradoxes, because yeah. that's where I'm going. Um, <laughs> I, right, basically, you can get all time travel -y. And I normally hate that. I really, honestly, I, I hate time travel as a plot device. This is interesting, though. It's sort of like, it's this thing called a stable time loop where you don't know what comes first, chicken or egg. So Bran, if he can use his visions to go back in time, we know that, so like, you know the scene where he, he says father and mm. he looks around and he's like, oh, was it the wind? Or can Bran actually, like, talk to people through these his visions, his dreams? So if he can do that, what if he went back in time in a vision and he spoke to King Aerys, Mad King Aerys? So the reason basically that all of the events of Game of Thrones as we know it are happening is because Mad King Aerys burned uh, Rickon and Brandon Stark alive. So that's Bran's grandfather and his uncle. And that's what sparked off like Robert's Rebellion, like Rhaegar, Lyanna, that whole thing started from like that one scenario. So what if Bran went back in time and was like talking to King Aerys, trying to get him to stop doing that. But because King Aerys is mad, he like just thinks it's voices in his head and just burns them. So what if Bran like keeps going back in time to try and fix things and he actually ends up making it worse? What I'm saying is what if all of Game of Thrones is Bran's fault? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's like Marty McFly of yeah. this whole thing. There's just stuff going in, back, messing things up. Yeah, there's stuff in the books where Bran goes to visit his dad, like through the weirwood tree, and he yeah. talks to him, and, and Ned will react. And we've seen more of this in the show, which kind of hints that Bran has like stronger power than we thought he did. Mm -hmm. But do you guys think that time travel, at least at this point, is a cop out? It seems a bit clumsy. Yeah. The, the idea of being able to talk to the past rather than travel mm. to the past seems a little cleaner. But then you get to the whole thing, like paradoxes. And the thing, I mean, the, the stable time loop means that, like, the, the event in the past happens, and because that's happened, the event in the future happens that allows you to go in the past, and it's a chicken and egg. You don't know which is the the thing that starts it. Yeah, so right. he thinks he's going back to stop his grandfather being burned when actually he's the cause. Yeah. So that's why it happens. And if he didn't go, it wouldn't happen. But he has to go because he already did. So yeah, so like his grandfather burns, and then he tries to go back and change it. Yeah. But in doing so, he causes, causes it. His and he goes burns. in this, yeah. So is it, I, I, I just find this theory really, really interesting. I mean, of all the weird things that Game of Thrones has introduced, I wouldn't put it past them to have something like this. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it needs to be something quite subtle, like speaking as the past rather than yeah. traveling. Yeah. But if it does happen, though, I kind of want him to go to every single huge event in Game of Thrones. Like he goes to Rhaegar at, at the at the Harrenhal tourney, oh, and yeah. he goes, don't think Lyanna Stark is hot. And he goes, Lyanna Stark, she is hot. <laughs> she is real hot. Damn. Huh? And you're like, Brad, no. <laughs> so do you think he's actually gone back in time to tell his old self not to climb the tower? Yeah. And well, then mm -hmm. that was actually the noise <laughs> that they turned around and looked at. Yeah, exactly. Basically, yeah. everything is Brad's fault. <laughs> we all knew that, though.